Hello, my name is Haya from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Zillion support. In solo queue, Zillion is a pretty strong support champion and champion in general. He basically is really good at fixing other people's mistakes, so if they're out of position and die, he is there to protect them. However, the main issue of Zillion support, I would say, is the fact that he scales, and a lot of games can be won before he can scale. So you have to be careful about losing lane phasism, as you don't want the game to end quickly in their favor. The later the game goes on, the better it is for you. So as long as you play relatively safe in the lane phase and not die, you scale really, really well, and you can win a lot of late game team fights as a lane support. So just be lane phase is actually really strong since it's not that hard to hit his Q, and he has a very long auto attack, and his auto attack animation is really good. So you can trade really efficiently with the enemy just because you can throw a bomb and auto them at the same time, and they have to be worried about the bomb once you auto them. So make sure you can auto and Q around relatively the same time so it's harder for them to dodge and see it coming. Other than that, don't be too far up as you almost have no peel. You have a slow for them or a speed up for you, but generally that's not enough to save you. So if you're out of position, you will die. So be very careful about dying on Zillion during lane, since that can snowball the lane in their favor really hard. Now keep in mind, you can also speed up your AD carry to let him do better trades, but you have a lot of mana problems in the early game. So just push the lane advantage, look for kills if you can land a double bomb, but it's more important that you live than it is for you to kill them. Other supports may not be the same, but for Zillion, be very wary about what you do on him in lane phase. As if you can go even, then you basically win the lane phase, and if you can get a CS advantage, then you're doing really well. However, if you die, it's very, very bad, so be careful about that. Team fighting on Zillion is tricky since he's kind of an awkward team fighter. Make sure you use the ultimate correctly. You don't want to do it when they're at full HP. You want to do it when they're low and when someone has committed to them. Say for example if his has flash E Q down to AD carry, he's all in at that point. Make sure you save your AD carry with your ultimate and make sure you're throwing bombs throughout the team fight. If you can get a double bomb, that's really good. If not, make sure you just keep throwing bombs consistently throughout the fight. Outside of that, you will want to be speeding up your AD carry generally so that he can move around quick and get good damage in without being in trouble of dying. So make sure that you're standing in a good position as well. You're really squishy as a lane support, especially if you're building AP, and you don't really want to ultimate yourself, as if you do that, you're just going to die once you respawn, whereas other champions are not going to die, like your top lane or jungler or mid laner can probably survive after being revived, but you are in very dangerous spot if you revive next to their entire team. So be careful about that. Cool tips on Zillion would be, is really an obvious one, but a lot of Zillions are too focused on speeding up their teammates. And if you slow down the enemy, it makes it very easy for you to land a double bomb on them. So instead of trying to speed yourself to run around quickly, just slow them and double bomb them and it makes things a lot easier that way. A cool bonus on Zillion is you can throw a bomb on an invisible champion like a Twitch and he can stealth in and the bomb will blow up on top of him. Other than that, there's not really many cool tricky things with Zillion other than with stealth champions. For runes on Zillion support, you'll run hybrid penetration reds, flat HP yellows, flat MR blues, and flat armor quints. Now you can change those up a bit by having flat AP blues in the case your lane has no magic damage, and then you can take out an armor quint and put in an AP quint. All depends on how much kill pressure you think your enemy lane has. The more kill pressure that they have, the more defensive runes that you'll want. The less kill pressure that they have, the more AP runes that you'll want. And make sure you rune accordingly to whatever thing you're versed. So if you're versed Janna Ezreal, make sure you get a lot of armor and AP. Say you're versed Corky and Zyra, make sure you have three full MR. And go on from there. For masteries on Zillion support, you have two options. You can go 0 18 12 or 0 12 18. I Personally, I'm a fan of going Thunderlord on Zillion support and having the precision talent instead of the intelligence talent in the cunning tree. However, in the case you're worried about them having a lot of kill pressure on you, you can also go 0 12 18 and have points into Bond of Stone instead of going 18 points into cunning. It really depends on your playstyle and the lane reverse. If you have kill pressure, go Thunderlord. If you're really afraid of them, if them killing you and you're dying a lot, Make sure you go resolve and get the bomb is done. Skill order on Zillion, you will want the bomb, which is Q, and then W following that, and then E. I personally like maxing Q, but you can also only get three points in Q and then start maxing W after that. 
And then following that, you'll want to basically get your W and E max as soon as possible after your Q. And in the case you don't max Q and only get 3 points in, then start maxing W and get E after that. As leveling up your slow makes you a lot stronger as a support. Since you're not really looking to do damage as a support, you're looking to just be really annoying. And by the time you have your W max and start leveling E, you'll have a big enough mana pool to be able to spam. Starting items on Zillion are rushing the Frostfang item and upgrading that to Frost Queen's Claim. It's very important you get Frost Queen's Claim on Zillion, as it makes landing your bomb much easier. You Frost Queen claims them, they get slowed, and you throw a double bomb on them, and you get pretty much guaranteed stun. Following that, you generally want standard support items. However, look at your team. If there's no one that builds AP damage, like if you have an AD top jungler and mid and AD carry, you're going to want to build damage. In the case you want to build damage, you want to go Frost Queens into a Morello, and next after that, you'll have to see what their enemy team has. If they have a lot of magic resistance, you want Void Staff. If they don't, you can try and save up for a Death Cap or for an Hourglass, but this is only in the case where your team doesn't have AP damage. In the case they do have AP damage, then you want to go your stance to support items like Glocket, Zeke, other support items like that. Make sure you just look at your team and the enemy team so that you can itemize accordingly. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide to Zillion. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lawclass.com. Take care guys.